Good morning, everybody. Oh, hello, everybody. Today is Friday the 20th of January. It is about 10 to 10, and I just got up. <laughs> um, but I slept around 2 or something. Um, I didn't know what to film today, but I would like to film something. Just always hard to start it, and then I say that, and then, yeah. Uh, also, I would like... When I have doctor appointments, they always ask me, what is my daily routine or my daily structure and stuff? And I, it's very hard to tell them what I'm doing uh, because I don't want them to come and say, here, go into that program, you need structure. Because I get up and then I start doing stuff until I go to bed. So, but it's very hard to tell that to somebody somehow because it's not like at one I do that, at two I do that, so on. <laughs> But I might show you what I crocheted and I also need to check how long that was in two or three weeks. But now um, I finished yesterday with small bees, which really are good for the bookkeeping thingy. Um, I'm so happy to have figured that out because I was um, working on, my, on pricing them. And the bigger items have to be very, very expensive and I don't like that. Because it feels, I don't think anybody would buy that then. Um, and also all the videos I've watched of others who crochet things, the big items always also never got sold. Um, the big plushies or something. So mine, the, the biggest one is 35 bucks uh, because it used a lot of um, material. And also there's this rule to go either three times the price you paid for the for the material or four times or, or your work time and that would all be so expensive because, yeah and that's why the hippo is so expensive because used a lot of material but then yesterday or the day before that I uh, figured out when I make some smaller ones not too small but just a bit smaller <coughs> like of the bee I get more out of one uh, yarn ball it's still not I get more out of it. It's still not as expensive as the big one, but more affordable. And even with the smallest ones from the cotton ball thingy, I can get so many out of uh, those cotton skeins or something. And um, that really, really tips the bookkeeping in a good direction. I'm not counting my work time as yeah, I still took takes so long and it's not fun <laughs> uh, but you cannot charge um, I don't know 20 bucks for something that's small so those are five bucks but when you make a few of those then the just the material list with the I made an excel chart <laughs> getting very long it's not really coherent I made an excel list with all my expenses and also also the expenses is one thing but then the expenses of used products already and those compared to the prices of the the things I've crocheted and and there I can see a bit how much do I get in if I sell them all um, and when you just make a few small items it goes in a way better direction I can show that to you later and here is my bag with things I'm not getting all of them out right now I just wanted to show you the tiniest bee and I found those eyes very cheap somewhere. So this would be five bucks compared to I have a big bee here, which is 20 bucks. And then I made some in between. So this is 15, it's a bit smaller. And then I think this is even a bit smaller, not much, it's hard to say. This is 12 and then I have another one. This one is 10, it's again a bit smaller. Also those um, change the bookkeeping a lot. Then I have a cotton wall, cotton wall, <laughs> cotton one. This is seven because I go size wise. What well, took me long to, was a bit nicer than the small one. Um, This is seven because it's smaller 
and then I have a smaller cotton one, which is also five, which was not fun. And then I made them a bit shorter. Yeah, so those things uh, did make things a bit better. And here's a fried egg. And then I freestyled a flower, which I don't like that much. I just went around. I, I also don't like the color. So I made this. I watched a video and then I made something myself with double, trouble, triple crochet things. And then it was no good. So I sewed it together here on the overlap things a bit. Um, and added that, which looks like a peach. <laughs> and then freestyled some, some leaves just to make clear it's a flower. So also, I think 10 bucks. And the hip was all the way up. I'm storing it with soap in here. I have very nice soap. Uh, lemon soap, so it will smell good. And this is my pile of bees. And then also what's new is, is this snail, which unfortunately cannot stand because the head is so heavy. I, I think I said 20 bucks for that one too. And the hippo is finished. And my family thought it was a panther or something. They didn't figure it out. Even maybe after telling them. And it has a little tail. It has such a such a good figure. <laughs> An enticing figure. And but I ordered some more lighter grey to make a lighter. Um yeah. So it's clear it's a hippo. Because it is a hippo. And this is my most expensive item. Um it has one nearly two of the of the luxurious velvet in there so 15 bucks of material and i i want 35 so that's double and a bit of the of the cost and inside there i have um memory foam memory pillow foam uh, leftovers from my last experiment thingy and this one is about the same size it, used one skein and a bit and i made a mistake here i learned a new way to pull two together and then i did it all wrong so maybe i need to fix that somehow because you can see all those holes instead of hiding that more i made it worse yeah uh, so this one is 30. it is size wise it's about the same but it used less material it's it's lighter crocheted I don't like it that much because it has errors and it's not so pretty. Um, this is why this is 35 and this one is 30, even though size-wise they're nearly the same. Yeah. Oh, the goldfish is cute. So that is that. And I rearranged some stuff. I have all my yarns now in there. And this was in the kitchen with things. It is it is stuffed full with yeah. <laughs> And I have one more box coming, which was kind of for free because I had some points for micro and uh, they were reduced. And then I had 10%. It was a, I paid five bucks for it and it would have cost 140. Um, the thing was there before. So I took the stuff out. I put it in those boxes a bit. Also, it was my uh, cooking stuffs, baking stuff are now here. I put that thingy somewhere else. This is my storage cupboard. My pantry or something. Yeah, so I'm happy about my kitchen. This is more airy. Uh, yeah, but there's still progress and stuff. And I want to bake those today. They're called Biberly. Biberly. Um, oh, Mandel Confect. Oh, I'm sorry, that sounds fancy. I don't like fancy. I'm a bit not so fancy. Um, yeah, I want to make those today. Maybe I'll show you later. And this is kitchen stuff. It's not much. We should just, I don't know. So, my parents are coming on Saturday again. That's tomorrow. I have some problems with the weekdays and also with the hours of the day this week. Um, suddenly, it's so late and stuff. So, I don't like it. Um, yeah, my parents are coming tomorrow and i want to make the bibli 
and I should go to the vet again to get the dribble tears for, for Tilly. I don't know when I last went. I think it was November. I kind of hope it was December, but then I would have to have a one left somewhere and I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I better go maybe later on today. Oh, and then it is. I don't know what. I need to eat something. Yeah. I have carrot salad and those corner tour things from yesterday. I just always have some food out or leftover thing. And carrot salad with some mayo. Oh, yeah, I've got more stuff. Oh, that's what I get. So, this is breakfast a uh, carrot salad, a corner tour from yesterday, and mayo, which might be a bit too much. Looks very not so appetizing. Yeah, I like those with mayo. Uh, Garniture, um, vegetarian things with veggies. <laughs> and with the and with the pricing I have now, um, this is just a bit more than. So I could buy about the same amount of yarn and would have forty bucks left over to do the same stuff again. So. This is not that big of a profit profit for for um, things. If I would want to have a business, this would not work out because it would all go into material again and then I have nothing again. Because the first, um, yeah, those 336, which I can get is just the material I spent. So that was kind of in the minus and this is on zero. And the other half I spent on buying the same material again. So this is just double the material <laughs> which was my aim somehow but for a business uh, it would not work out anyway it's also with card making because the time you cannot count the time for a card thingy you cannot charge 40 50 bucks for a card that's why this is more hobby thing but there are some who are crocheting for for their living and um yeah, they get annoyed with people who price the stuff too low. I don't know how they do that or they're very quick knitters or crocheters. Um, it's very hard. I also a lot do crochet um, clothes, which I don't like that much. I like the animals and blankets that are nice too. <laughs> yeah, that's that. So I got another order of safety eyes. She's always very quick in sending them. She's called Heart and Heart Deco Punkzeha. Cool. I always label them, say which um, size it is, and I tried out some glitter ones. And she has some sorry for the noise. Some with dots, which are pretty but quite expensive. So. I don't take a lot of those, or that's the first time I got those. And with her orders, she always sends a a flyer, and this is octopus for um, early born kids, um, like when they're when they're tiny like that. And the aim of this project is that every to early born kid, which is around six thousand in Switzerland, would get a tinty. Um, a little octo to get home, take home, because it's kind of like the the thingy cord, and it will um, distract the kids from those um, things, ropes and stuffs. So they have a page where they say which hospitals take those tinties. Um, tinte means ink, and octopus throw ink around, so tinty is the German version. And it is, you can either donate some materials so others could crochet those, or you can crochet an octopus yourself. As of yet, they got 21,362. And again, those are all the hospitals that take them. Then there's a control center which controls them. Then they get sent to the hospitals. There they get washed and um, sterilized. And uh, when you're doing that for the first time, you have to send your first tinty to a lady who checks it because um, there's an unlighting. Um, the tentacles are not allowed to be longer than 20 centimeters. So here you get the safety measurements you need to take because it's going to very vulnerable little kits, the materials that are good. Then there's the pattern. 
and then there's a, um, a sheet which you have to place with your thingy and here's everything Oopala. yeah here's everything on my tabs um yeah they're either way too early way too small or sick or all of them combined and they're very vulnerable so the the head has to be at least 4.5 centimeters uh, in circumference stance. It the body can be maximal seven centimeters high. Uh, ah, the durchmesser again, certain radius of uh, whatever. And then there's the tentacle that's not longer than 20 centimeters, so it does not strangle them. Then the filling has to be 100% synthetic and uh, needs to be washable. And as this filling sometimes is not washable at 60 degrees, you have to put it into a, that's not here now, a fine strumpf, like those tights, those, those very, very fine tights and socks you have for shoes. Then a certain kind of wool it has to be cotton, 100% because of allergies. The eyes need to be stitched or crocheted, not safety eyes. Then you can or cannot decorate it. You don't have to. And you have to do it as, as tight as possible so that there are no holes in there. Um, or you can take a smaller crocheting needle. And then also the, the strings need to be very well um, put in place so they don't open at some point. So those are the safety instructions. And then you have the material list. This, those are tested things that are working. Um, those are not allowed. And again, a Feinstrumpf. It's Feinstrumpf. I don't know the word in English. Like the very fine tights or something. Panios. Yeah, something like that. Needs to go in there around the Stopfate um, around this filling so that it doesn't just disintegrate and go anywhere, everywhere. And then there's the pattern. And you're not allowed to sell those if you make one. And so I tried my my thingy. So this is my tinty. <laughs> um, it I think it's all right with the measurements. I had not the right hook that they say, but I made it very tight. It was not fun. Um, those tentacles are horrible. It takes a whole day to make those. Those are 50 chain stitches. And then you make three single crochets in each stitch. And um, it's very tiny. And then after I did the first one, I measured it. And it was 21 centimeters. So it was one centimeter too long. And first I thought I could just take it together there a bit. But then I opened it again. I made the next one just 45 um, thingies, but they're cool because they can expand. So, like, oh, I need to stop. <laughs> See, they can expand a bit. And and also down here, I had to. I didn't do it properly. I I don't I. I don't think I'm able to follow this to get the right stitches from another round because you do the tentacles and then you go back to the stitches before and then you do that. I did it wrong. So in the end, I weaved a lot with a leftover yarn and closed it up like that. And I would, I would have to send it to the, to the control center. And then she would tell me if, uh, if it's correct or not. If not, it can go to also a home for elderly people or older kids just not for the um, premature born or whatever the word is so but i do love the the project i have more wool i could make about 20 of those but it takes a whole day and more to make that one and i had other things to do and yeah so i don't know how i go on also my hands really hurt after that also i got this thingy from the little hook and then it hurt and then I had to put a band-aid and then I couldn't crochet anymore but I love the idea I love that they have um, that I got through those safety eyes I got the flyer and then I checked it out and um, I kind of wanted to make those eyes and I just went for that it's a bit high ah, I don't know 
Uh, I thought to help me to find the right row, I might do it with another color the next time. So, but right now I am back on card making. I guess I need to make some Mother's Day cards. And I guess also Father's Day cards. So I, I colored those yesterday. Also all my re my copies um, ran out of ink, but I still keep it like that. I kind of like it. Um, so I colored those. Yeah, when I work with the copies and I realize I need to buy more stuff. There is anything I work on, I need more stuff. Um, because otherwise I also get so angry. Well, it worked out, but um, the one color needs to refill longer or something. Just annoying and I don't have all the re-inkers. So. But I'm happy how it turned out. Uh, and Father's Day cards. Yeah, it's not a big, big thing yet. But I think it's nice to have Father's Day cards too. So I... I don't think that works for mom or dad. So, yeah. Um, also, I have another thingy, which I might show you in another video. That was uh, the last very expensive thing I got last year. This year is a bit more. I need to dial it down, maybe. Um, so, I'll show that to you later. It's it's very cool. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I'm working on those cards. Also, I'm cutting it out, and that makes my hands fall asleep too. So, And I've had now two weeks of <laughs> very numb hands. So I'm taking a break from crocheting. But after this, doing my bees with a, with a super velvet and the super soft yarn was so much fun. And also did not hurt at all, because I kind of just held it way looser. Because with this, oh, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> so... That is that. It is already 20 past 7 in the evening or p.m. And I've been working on the other whale. The one I'll show you later. I need to finish one more. Which I had started. And because the card making didn't work. So I worked on that. And I made the Biberlis. So they're here. And uh, that thing in the middle is marzipan. 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 And around the dough is um, made with honey, little milk, little oil and sugar and flour and gingerbread house um, spices and baking powder. Yeah, and I tested two and they're quite good. And now I wanna eat more. I have not eaten a lot of sweets this year. It's still January, so <laughs> I can say that and sounds like big. Um, and I noticed I had two and I want to have more. I just want to have more. I drink a lot of coffee this, uh, the last few weeks I have noticed. So, but other than that, that's fine. So I show you, I'm still working on the, on the whale. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, moment. So here's the whale, which is made with that um, stuffed fabric. It has a, if I can show it, yeah, here, it's not the best lighting. Yeah, there's stuff in there. Um, I still have to sew on the two flippers. And this is um, the the string, the yarn was knotted together. I kept it. Unfortunately, it's on the outside, but I thought I might make a small C star and add it on it with a different kind of wool. And yeah, it turns out quite cute. Um, yeah, the flippers are here. So I'm gonna finish that. And then I show you the result and finish the vlog. It is now half past 10 and I've improvised a little sea star after many other tries uh, with different yarn, which is just so ugly when I do that. This very thin thingy, this is after a recipe and it's just, I hate it when I do lines, there's so many holes in there. So I took back the mm -hmm. velvety thingy and Made this and it took me a long time <laughs> and here are all the leftover threads which just work as um, filling and then I will sew it on with I don't know that 
some thinner yarn. And mm -hmm. it goes here. <laughs> maybe it's keep, maybe it makes it worse. I don't know. And I sewed on the flippers. They're not on the same height, but, but it turned out quite cute. Maybe it's kind of cute. <laughs> and I'm watching the ranch. But I get very annoyed about their pissy attitudes. <laughs> and the one I like most, or the one Ashton Kutcher plays, is just, it's the most lovable and they're just very mean. But he doesn't mind. Hi. So, and now it's too late to finish that vlog. I wanted to put it up today, but uh, it's very late now, so. I don't have enough time to do that. It's also not finished entirely. So I'll go on tomorrow a bit longer and then I finish that on Saturday and put it up then. You will see that. Yeah, so it is now Saturday morning, a quarter to eight. I need to go to the vet and get the thingies again. And I think I just went, but also remember now that i mentioned it on the vlogs so i could check when that was to get the the triple chest for silly hey mousy um yeah so i just got up i have problems sleeping uh, slept at around one or two and then yeah that's not even six hours so five and a half or something yeah so good morning sorry it is now five past 12 and I have my poser glasses on. My parents were here and left again. We had a lovely time. They asked a lot about the crocheting and about Tina too, because I do talk about my social contacts, which are also Tina Darla. <laughs> and mainly, yeah. Uh, that was wrong. Um, and yeah, I'll finish this vlog very soon. I think I've shown that to you already. So I'm just gonna put this one like this. I haven't put it on yet. And there's Big Bang Theory on in the other room. Because my plan is to just puzzle today. It's a very sunny day. That's why I was actually wearing my glasses in here too. So <laughs> yeah, because I get so tired as soon as my eyes get tired, but it's just not so nice to do that. Whatever, so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.